I can tell you guys, this guy, he's just fame and he's not playing, you know. Take a listen on what he actually know in a way. But this time, there was a guy who was talking there. Take a listen on what he actually said. Mapaina is not playing, he's not laughing, he's serious, he's not budging, he's not regretting, he's not retracting, he's not apologizing, just like other mayors. See, he is busy, this guy is standing still and saying, you know what, we are not moving yet. We are not agreeing with this GNU thing. And I can tell you guys, this guy, he's just fame and he's not playing, you know. Take a listen on what he actually said. Who then decides to take our government or our movement after coming from the elections to hand it over, almost literally, to a party with only 20%? The DA. In Inga Ela. Let me put it proper in English. That is where the problem is. We have with the DA a party of monopoly capital. A party of our erstwhile oppressors. If you want to know, we can give you history of where they come from, this DA. And at this time, Mama Paila is actually pointing out on the DA. It's like, we don't want, want to work with the DA. And we are not agreeing to work with the DA. We are never going to accept this DA thing. The GNU is there, but we, are, we have not accepted this thing, you know? Because of their, their supporter or their, their what, what of the monopoly, what, what. Hmm? Now... Also, there are members in that SACP actually who came up this time and they actually put the because what we have seen actually online, we have seen Mapaila only talking about this thing. And then, well, you will hear other people, but they were not that firm, you know, in a way. But this time, there was a guy who was talking there. Take a listen on what he actually said. In South Africa, when a struggle for more than 350 years, we still want our properties that were stolen by DA and their friends. So we can't sleep in one bed with the chief enemy of the revolution. DA is representing monopoly capital. So we don't support government of national unity and it's not from the soul who say the party is not supporting GNU. This is a South African Communist Party, including Pumalaga province. You can see that this thing actually, it's not only Mapaila, you know. It is just that maybe Mapaila is talking a lot in terms of being on the podium. He's always on the podium, you know. This time they were like, you know what? I think they were like, we want to talk. We want to show these people to, to show them that we support Mama Pai, you know. And then you've got the ANC in the same uh, function or event. And you, I don't know, guys, but I would have expected, I don't know, maybe I'm too much, maybe I'm thinking too much, but I would have expected, you know, at least to put their position. I know that um, Mbalula has spoken or anything like that, but if an event like that, you know, you have so some people who are talking like Mapaila, you know, and you are an ANC, and you are the ones that are actually in coalition or in a GNU with the DA. I was expecting maybe they could have said something at least. They should have brought, brought uh, maybe, uh, you know, I don't know, Balula, just to say something on that, you know. But anyway, uh, Mapaila is not budging. Every event he gets, every platform he gets, he's going to hit, 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 and hit, and he doesn't even care, you know. Now, we've got another issue here, the issue of um, uh, Dr. Sope. Guys, just tell me, guys, what do you think? Do you think uh, the MK party should just leave this thing? Because, and then maybe they can put someone there. Which, uh, when I think about it, I don't know if they do have somebody, you know? I don't know if they have some person, who's, uh, somebody who can occupy that space, that actually position in the JSC. The JSC is sitting today later i think it's sitting today and unfortunately the mk party has lost you know there's nothing that they, they can do it's the law 
unfortunately and you remember that actually the, the mk they did say that they are following the law they are the party that follow, fo, fo, follows the law and unfortunately and uh, when i saw that argument in court you know and i saw the judge there i was like nah my guy you are not winning this one mk is not winning this one not only because of the guy but because of uh, the way the the, the the situation is what one thing that is important guys is that or that we must understand is that there is only one person in that JSC who is not uh, sub supposed to be there or the DA is against. It's only uh, John Trump. And unfortunately, the quorum, it doesn't affect the quorum. It's only one person. I don't think that in the high court they were going to say, yeah, you okay, can because of one person, because they don't want to set a precedent. That means uh, every time there is this type of a situation, they know people, they will challenge it every time. So now at least it is known that if you challenge it, you won't win because you are the only one. You know, you are the only people, unless maybe when they get to the meeting, you know, there are people who are raising their hands like your malima like the other guys they might say Lily, Lily, listen yeah uh, we want we want trop we can't continue but as long as it's not like that i don't think there's anything that is going to happen you know and i think that the mk party they just they must not follow it up you know just leave it and get someone to just occupy that space and then maybe that person will ask some advice from John Trump, you know, and I actually, guys, no, not no, but I am suspecting why, actually, I see why the DA is against John Trump. Have you seen other uh, interviews or the meetings of the JSC, especially the interviews, right? Have you seen them where John Trump was? Every, uh, I will use the color, every white person who came there, for interview obviously that person would have been recommended by the the other party i don't want to mention names the other party right maybe they know that if he is there he's going to grill them yeah i am saying have you seen have you seen the interviews where john Trope was it was a something else people they were asked there they were asked about qualifications they don't have any qualifications but they come to an interview they don't they have never sat on the bench they have never done anything when it comes to lawyering judiciary something a person comes and get an interview then is rec recommended to come and do an interview trope would go for them and he would ask them very tough questions some of them you will see that they are they are in trouble you know so i think there is a reason and i think the reason why it is because they know that if they when they recommend their people you know trope is going to to grill them it's going to be a problem malima is there and but we, we all know guys that the ju judge trope was a judge you know in in the western k so so you know it's, there's going to be always a conflict and he was impeached in a way that he, he didn't like you know it's going to be worse actually if he is there in the JSC for the other part, which you know what I'm talking about, which party I'm talking about, you know. So I, Yabu Yabafu, South Africa. Well, we will see what is going to happen. Uh, to be honest with you, the MK party they must just leave it. Otherwise, it's gonna track and track. And I think people like him both, they will end up getting tired, my guy. You can't be, you know, fighting the same thing always, going through the same thing. It's tiring you know anyway i don't know guys what do you think about these two, two topics you can put them in the comments and all of that thank you so much for watching please like share subscribe and thank you for watching sharp sharp buffet you have a good day